Are you a planner who prefers to map out your week and plan ahead? Want to plan out your meals, keep track of your water intake or your exercise? Well, in today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to make a printable planner for the week so you can keep track and plan out everything you need. And once you start creating your own planners and see how quick and easy this is, you may never buy another expensive planner. Before we jump into the tutorial, please be sure to hit that subscribe button and notification bell so you don't miss any tutorials. I've created an artboard in eight and a half by 11 inches. And I'm going to start by adding a square, which can be found in the elements under lines and shapes. And I'm going to add one box, kind of size it up, and you're going to want seven boxes. So let's change this color so it's a little more soothing and easy to see. And you want to add seven. So one, two. Okay, so there's six boxes. We need seven. So we're going to shrink this down where we know we have enough room for the seventh one. And we're going to duplicate it and pull it right there. So we're going to need a little more room. So just pull it over just a little bit to make it just a little bit bigger. So you have your seven boxes and now you have your spacing just right. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab this box off of the bottom and I'm going to pull it up here in the middle. And I'm going to change the shading on it just a bit. I'm going to make this one a little smaller because what I'm going to do is make three columns of boxes. And then I'm going to grab this, this bottom one and I'm going to add it over here. So for this one, this is going to be a to-do list. So now that we know that we have our sizing all mapped out, I'm just going to delete these. I'm going to add a text box and I know that the one day of the week that's the longest word, Wednesday, so I'm going to shrink that down and add it here. And I want to make sure to leave plenty of room, and then I'm going to change this back to Sunday. Now go back to Elements and search for Water. Click See All on the Graphics and find a water icon that you like. I like the little droplet, and you want one droplet for each glass of water that's your goal for the day. Now I drink my water in bottle size, so um, 30 ounce bottle, I drink three a day, so I'm gonna add three droplets. And I'll just duplicate them and put them side by side. And you can make, you know, add six of these, however many water icons you want, just add. And now this, I don't like that in the center, so I'm gonna change the alignment and make it to the left. Now let's type in, okay, I just wanted to make sure that we were going to have enough room between the day of the week and the water icons. Type in exercise in the element search bar and I'm going to find a graphic that I like, add it to the artboard and shrink it down. I'm going to put that right there and I'm going to add a line thick one, so I'm going to shrink it down, and then I'm going to pull this up here next to the exercise icon so that I can have a line there, and then I'll duplicate this line, pull it down here, scoot it all the way to the edge of the box, and then pull it to the other one, duplicate it, duplicate it again. So now I have my day of the week box. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to select all of these, group them together, and then duplicate them. Pull it right down underneath there, and then I'm going to change the days of the week. Okay, so now I have my days of the week. It's time to do the meal planner. And this is super easy. Just add a text box and I just put in a B, and I know that that means breakfast. Just check the size, so it's 13.7. So I'm gonna make this one an even 14, and then I will pull it up here in this box and duplicate that. 
pull it down, change the B to an L for lunch, and then duplicate it again and bring that down for a D. And then hit Shift, select each one, go to the three dots, go to Space Evenly, and Tidy Up. Go back to Elements, grab a line right there, fit it inside this box. And we'll shrink down the size and then duplicate it, pull it down, duplicate it again, and it will go right to the bottom. Put it right where you want it. Okay, this one's a little long. Just going to scoot it over just a little bit. There we go. Now it's all matched up. So what I'm going to do with this box, I'm going to highlight all of it and I'm going to group it together and then we will control D to add a box for each day. And for this box, we're going to make this um, like our notes box and I want it to be right up against this one. So for this box, we're going to add text, pull it right here, right at the top. And I know that I want this to be the same size. And we'll change this to notes. Pull it back over. Now I want a check, a check box. I'm going to go to element and I'm going to put in square outline. And you can click see all on the graphics and you can see all the options that you have. This one right here works for me. You can change the color to black so I can see it. Shrink it down and just shrink it down. Okay, and I'm going to ungroup this box really quickly so that I can duplicate this line and just pull it over. And I want it to match that line. So, and I'm going to group these together and then I'm going to duplicate it. And I'm going to put as many of these as I need. And now I'm going to take this box, pull it up, and this is going to be for goals. So I'm just going to change the color a little bit so it stands out a little more. Add a text box. I'm going to make it up here. Change this to the size. Over. And now I'm going to select this group again. I think we'll make, we'll move the notes down to here. Just makes more sense. And then we will highlight this line and box again. Control D and ungroup it. So I don't really need the checkbox for notes. So I'll just take that off. And then Control D. Here. So we're going to duplicate this box, pull it up here. We're going to change this to to do. Let's put a heading up here so we know. And now you have a weekly planner. I hope you found this tutorial fun and helpful. Please be sure to give it a like and hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so you don't miss any tutorials. If you're brand new to using Canva, I'll have a link in the description for my free Getting Started with Canva, the basics course to walk you through all the basic fundamentals of Canva. And of course, I'll leave a link for the free 30 day trial of Canva Pro, which I highly recommend if you don't already have it. You'll also find a link for my 223 Canva element keywords ebook to help you find some amazing hidden elements. I'll be back next week with another tutorial. And until then, make it a wonderful week and enjoy your Canva. Mm -hmm.